refresh your taste. Look at these people out there smoking and sailing. What a great day. So, but man, and we can all see you better. Woohoohoo! Check it out. So man, who knows what else we got in there? Oh! Hey everybody out there, how are we doing YouTube Universe? Once again, Robert Dave Auctionaire Extraordinaire with Magic, the Master Mud, <laughs> right here on the camera today. And I hope everyone's having a great day. And don't forget, if you haven't checked out our other videos, what are you waiting for? And don't forget to subscribe. Tons and tons of great videos. You get your notifications. Hit that bell. And the best thing about Second Sense, the stuff you see, you can bid on it at www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. We still got this wall of boxes. So we're going to go through some boxes today. See what we can find. Hopefully some vintage treasure box number one. I don't know. Well, it looks like it. I'm going to assume it's probably aluminum with stainless steel. Not sterling. That'd be nice to start with a nice sterling silver bowl, but no. What the heck is this thing? Oh man. Look at that. Looks like a little turkey. Maybe a gravy boat or something, I don't know. Interesting. So I'm assuming the back part of the turkey is in here somewhere. Oh, so here's another. Just the back part? Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's one complete turkey for you, ladies and gentlemen. And look at it, so you can put a ladle in there. So yeah, gravy boat. Turkey gravy and a turkey. <laughs> What's more American than that? All right. Oh wow, look at this. Big piece of green glass right there. So look at that. Got the original dust. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna make it worth much more money. Oh man, there's something else in here. What the heck is this? It looks like a stand for a pipe. So you put your pipe here and it'll hold the pipe. So maybe there's some pipe to that, pipe pipes in here or something. We'll see. A little shot glass. Looks like a bunch of glass. Ooh. Chinese vase, vase, whatever you like to say. I imagine Mike. Okay. I say vase. You say vase. And a shoe. With Santa Claus on it. So there's no rhyme or reason in this box. Miscellaneous glass. Doesn't look like anything too great. The best thing was our little turkey bowl. And this big piece of green glass. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh! Look at that. Yo, Cleveland Indians! So it looks like a little Cleveland Indians got the cards over there. 1999. Jim Tomei. Oh, yeah. So, we got the World Series card. Looks like a uh, Roberto Alomar. Charles Nagy. Let's see what we got in this one. Ooh, interesting. Look at this thing. Pretty fancy statue here. Certificate guaranteed. Oh, your favorite. Capa de Monte. Oh, Capa de Monte. A little Capa de Monte piece. Certified, guaranteed. Now we got a little bit of... Nice Fire King. It's got like the fruit on it. I don't know if someone painted that on themselves or it came that way. We'll have to find out. And then we got a little... A little... Mixed entertainment. Box number three. Ooh, interesting. What the? Let's say a CB or something. Look at all those buttons on there. So Regency monitor, radio, and a scanner. That's a vintage scanner right there. Please scanner. Tablecloths. I mean, there's just no rhyme, no reason. Brand new handle. <laughs> Just a little door latch right there. Screen door, storm door. 
What the heck is all this? Table napkins. Brand new napkins, a bunch of them. And tablecloths. Like I said, I mean, you just never know what you're going to get when you go through boxes. There's placemats here. So, we'll see what else we can find. We'll keep looking. Grab some more stuff. Another piece. Oh, yeah. Good Lord, talking about magic. Ooh, look at that. Look at this bad boy. That's a vintage Texas instrument home computer. I remember those. One of the first home computers out there. This and the Apple. A lot of people don't remember the Texas instrument because they lost. Everyone knows they made calculators, but they made computers. Ooh. So that's a good sign. It has original packaging here. Oh my gosh. This could be brand new. That would be crazy. Yeah. No, it doesn't look brand new, but it does have the original box, but it is in really nice shape. It needs cleaned up a little bit, a little dust on it, but yep. Yeah. I was hoping to the original packaging, but that's nice. Anytime you can find anything in the original box, it's gonna make it worth more. Because true collectors always want in the original package. They want how it came. But a TI like this is probably around a hundred dollar bill with the box. You know, if it was an Apple II in the original box. Probably $500,000. So it just all depends. Oh, man, this, oh. Should have you carry this magic, Mike. I ain't as strong as you. Not many people are. Ho, ho. I like it so far. It looks old. Old, old, old. Look at this. First of all, look at this battery. It says Burgess 1776 Bicentennial Battery. I never even knew they made Bicentennial Batteries. Then we got the little vintage mouse salt pepper shakers. This is an old piece right here, look at that. Let's see what it says on the back here. Made in England, H and K. So it's marked on the back, it's definitely old. But this is what I'm excited about right here. This is, talk about old. You know what this is, Mike? Oh, it looks like an old grill of some sort. Close. This is a toaster, pal. Wow. This is a Victorian toaster, probably 1920s. And look at the ornateness on the toaster itself. Look at that etching on there. Wow. So. That. Yeah. So you put your toast in here. You can cook it up and then flip it over. Now you have your toast. Probably still works. There's the original. Probably still works. That's right, <laughs> man. Well, who knows what else Benny Goodness is going to be in here? We have Jesus right here. And that's actually metal. Most of these are plastic, so you know it's older. Pretty cool. Uh, I can't believe it's not broke. That's the most amazing thing. I've never seen something like that. So this is like three-dimensional fish, and it's marked on the back right here. It's a nice piece. Interesting, you know. Just never know we're gonna. And that, oh, wow. So that could be uranium glass. That's a candlestick holder. And uranium glass. If you take a black light to it, it's gonna glow. Now we got some vintage glass in here. Oh, wow. I have no clue. It's just, I mean, I could tell the book is really old. It's wrapped in plastic. So I always get excited because I've had books. I mean, we had the first edition of, what was it, uh, Alice uh -huh. in Wonderland or something? Went for was it? Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, I already know to see it says, McGuffey sixth grade reader. So this is a school book for kids. It doesn't have a lot of value. We'll look at revised edition. It's falling apart. The binding's ripped. Just trying to find the date in here. 1896 is the last copyright date. So in this condition really it has very, very little value, if any. 
If it was a different book, it would have value still. Ooh. Now that's vintage goodness. Hmm. I guess you push the one button and it release the pig. How does that work? Hmm. Oh, you got to push it to get the salt out. Oh, I see. You push this to get the pepper out. That's pretty cool. I had never seen a salt pepper shaker like that. And I've seen a lot. I had a huge salt pepper shaker collection multiple times actually. Oh, look at it. his and hers. So, I mean, this goes on and on. Look at this old little cheese. This is a cheese slicer. And you can move that up and down. Old meat grinder in here. Deluxe. So, I mean, you got all Ooh, interesting. To you and your little one. So, it looks like you, you got this. If you were had a baby, it's a boy. And you get the plant in there, probably in the 1950s, right there. Ooh, what's in the box? What do you think? Jewelry. Costume jewelry? Listen. Huh? Don't sound like jewelry. No. Oh, candlestick uh, holders? Oh, these little tiny uh, crystal pieces right here. Interesting. <laughs> Made in Czechoslovakia. So I'm assuming it's Czechoslovakia and crystal. We got some religious stuff in here. Look at That's an old cross. Another one of these metal ones. This is going. It's a pretty cool looking bottle. Wavy. Very old. Yeah, everything in here is old. And once again, I always like to check the newspapers, ladies and gentlemen. So when you're moving, going through stuff, if you ever buy stuff, if you can look at the newspaper, there's a date right there. April 15th, 1983. Wow. So this stuff is probably was wrapped up in 1983 and been in this box ever since then. And if you look at the condition of paper, you can just see it's old, it's probably been in the attic, it's kind of halfway falling apart. Look at that little metal piece. Get a little hammer. Oh, look at Man, they had all of them. I never seen it. Like someone had all three like that. Some green glass. <clears throat> So porcelain pieces, glass pieces, a little bit of everything in here, antique pieces, cobalt glass. What's this piece? Almost like Vaseline, I don't know, just dirty I think. So who knows, we got so much more to go through, finding some cool things already from antiques, collectibles, glass china, sports memorabilia, who knows what we're going to find next, keep watching. All right, more boxes, tons of boxes still left over here. Grabbed a few out. We got to start getting rid of this stuff. We got more coming in. We got pickups to do this week. So let's see what else we got. Interesting, Chachi. Might be right up your neck of the woods here. A little country song roundup. What's your favorite country song, Chachi? Tennessee whiskey. All right, I like that. Look at this song hits. Little kiss. Uh, look at that date right there, 1980. So these are actually collectible. People would collect these right here. 1984. So right there, vintage goodness. You got Journey, Steve Perry, Van Halen's David Lee Roth. 84. That's probably when the album came out there. 84. <laughs> Elvis. So these, and then we got some more country. Ooh! Now we're talking, Chachi. Old magazines like this. Let's see what years these are. This is the screen stories right here. And they should have a date somewhere around here, right here. 1954, 1956. Movie story, 1951. Just wanted to let you know, I had vintage magazines. I believe they were from the 30s, though, and 40s. Screen magazines like this. One lot. One lot sold for $800 for just a lot of magazines. So once again, when you get old magazines like this, a lot of people just think this is garbage. But right here, you know that's money. Who's that? Marilyn Monroe. Everyone knows her just by the face, and that's in really nice condition. But you got Marilyn Monroe, Debbie Reynolds, all the greats there. Doris Day, Gene Kelly. I mean, everyone knows these names. These are common names, you know. So Tony Curtis. I can go on and on and on. These are good ones. I have more Doris Day. Vintage pieces. 
people love these things and you got the ad, vintage ads on the back ivory soap it can't all be ivory soap can it? i knew there had to be one salem refresh your taste look at these people out there smoking and sailing what a great day so but man and Check it out, Fabian, but this thing is loaded with them. So we got all different years, 53, 59, 58, 56, 57, 54. Ooh, and another, Marilyn Monroe. Not as nice as the other condition one, and this one, she's showing, she's showing a little shoulder on it. But these two magazines, who knows, could be $10, $20, could go for $100. Marilyn Monroe. I can't wait to see what else we got, but we had vintage goodness so far. Yeah. Let's open this box. Okay. Not what I was expecting after you go from uh, from magazines to this. Put this box right here. Let's do this. There we go. So we got a little coax cable connect. Look at that thing, man. That looks fancy, Chachi. That's for your home theater system, buddy. Hook that up at your house. What the heck is this thing? It's like a wood painted block. I mean, no rhyme, no reason in this business. Right, Chachi? Okay. By the way, I got Chachi, the paparazzi with me. The man, the myth, the legend, ladies and gentlemen. You probably heard of him. His reputation far surpasses the borders of the state of Ohio. Right, Chachi? Right. What the? That's a horn tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Ooh, look at that go inside the speaker. Nice. A little vintage microphone right here. Hello. My name is Chachi Paparazzi. I'm here to take your picture. Don't be laughing at me, Chachi. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got. He's Chachi's trying to hold it together. <laughs> hold it together, Chachi. What do you think's in here? Probably some plates and cups. woo uh, Pink depression glass right there. Oh man, that's nice. So I'm gonna assume this whole box is gonna be loaded, loaded, loaded. Pink depression. And man, I can take out all. I mean, this whole thing is filled. Let's just grab. I'll go from down to the bottom. Let's see this look. And it's nice. It has this nice pattern in there. And man, so we got a little matching set. Who knows what else is in there? Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna take them all out right now. I know you guys don't want to see me. Um, Wrap it up, but it looks like a whole box, pink depression glass. So depression glass means the glass was made during the Depression era, 19, late 20s, 30s, 40s. And there's greens, pinks, um, all different colors, gold. On and on and on. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. Fancy that. Kind of has a geometrical pattern. It says made in Japan. Not China. Japan. So we must have got a little Japanese set in here. It's probably a tea set, I'm assuming. Look at that. That's nice. So when I'm at uh, Chachi's house having afternoon tea, speaking of the latest uh, match in the polo match, who do we like today in the polo game, Mr. Chachi? Are you going to take Sir Evan Benderville? So we got a whole box of that. All right, we're back. Sorry, I had a phone call there. Let's see what's got left in this box. Woo-hoo-hoo! Interesting, Chachi. Interesting. Oh, look at that glass. Half and half jar. With... It's got the Indian Chief on the top. I've never seen that before. That's really nice. Here's your Clorox bleach bottle. Old school, huh, Chachi? Mm -hmm. This whole thing looks like just full of vintage goodness. I mean, it's, the paper's just falling apart. Look at that. So it's like a little green depression glass, and it's an ashtray. Put your cigarette on there. <laughs> it's portable little ashtray. Vintage goodness! Wow, look at that little liquor bottle there. One pint. Look at that, you got your own shot glass with it. 
Frankfurt Distillers. There you go, Chachi. A little tin cap for you, buddy. Ain't no drinking on the job, Chachi. <laughs> oh, man. Interesting. This That's pretty cool, though. It has the original cap still and everything. I mean, that's probably always gone. So. Whoa, I don't know what it is, Chachi, but it's gigantic. Mason jar. Holy smoke. Oh. It's your milk bottle. Oh, you didn't know I was in a band, did you? The jug. Hey, Mike, Magic Mike, I can play the jug in your band. All right. Yeah, what can you play, Chachi? Chachi's trying to get in the band, Magic Mike's band, but I can play the kazoo. I can play the jug, tambourine. Oh. Talk about there's your mason jar that's a big one it's a number 10 it has this on there you close it off it has the glass lids that go on there and this box is just full of all kind of good stuff wow, and yeah, it's all marked on the bottom down there you can, or you can see it, something is marked on there it's hard to make out but that's old bottle right there you can just tell by the glass color Another mason jar. Little brown bottles. Who knows? Okay, so this thing's loaded. What the heck is this? Ooh. That's a lid. That's a little stopper for something. So we gotta find a little bottle. It has a blue glass like that. Oh. We got the French fry cutter. Right over potato chops. You know, that thing still works. So, man, who knows what else we got in there? Oh! Don't be clowning around, Chachi. So, there's a little clown bottle. Chachi's not scared of clowns, are you, Chachi? No. You like that movie, It? Yeah. Pennywise? You probably ain't watching, aren't you? You don't want to watch no Pennywise. No, I work I work with a lot of clowns. <laughs> you do? You do? I'm talking about magic like that way. Look at that little bottle. It has the glass stopper still on top. Oh, man. It's been in there so long, I don't even want to come out. I'm not going to try to force it out right now. But, man, who knows what else we're finding. Just keep watching. Tons more stuff. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Don't forget, best thing, you can bid on the items. www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. So much greatness. So much good stuff. Take a look. Appreciate everybody out there for watching. Love you guys.